Paige DeMarcos here with Jay Glazer and the Marv Levy Impact Award honoree, and that is Nate Boyer. So I will start with you. What does this honor mean to you? I just spoke with Coach, and he's overwhelmed just that the name is his. So what does it mean to you that you're getting it? That's cool. Uh, you know, I, I got a call from, from Coach Levy a couple weeks ago, and, um, you know, there was stuff I didn't even know about his back. I didn't know he was a World War II veteran, and that's absolutely incredible. I feel like it's almost a disservice that it wasn't a bigger deal when he was coaching. Uh, so for me, I, I mean, just to have his name on an award I'm receiving is unbelievable. Um, and then, you know, to be able to bring out one of my best friends, Jay Glazer, and, you know, M MVP is a, a, a nonprofit that we started. It stands for Merging Vets and Players. And, you know, that's sort of what we're talking about today and doing today with, with After the Impact Fund. So just the synergy there is awesome. And uh, I'm just overwhelmed. I'm just proud to be here. Jay, I'll go to you. Why is it that military veterans and former NFL players, the synergy is there, the chemistry is there, and it works so well to have them together? I think they're both used to having a brotherhood, and that's what empowers them. When you're together, you win championships. You do stuff the rest of the world can't do. And then when you come home or your, your career is ending, all of a sudden you're alone. And you know, guys think that they're not empowered anymore, even though they are. That's what Nate and I are trying to show them, what you've been through in war, what you've been through, you know, just your experience to be able to play in the NFL, you could use that in your next step. And I just think that, um, you know, Combat veterans, they look up to football players, and then football players look up to combat veterans, and like when they say to our veterans, like, thank you, they really mean thank you. It's not just lip service, so if you merge them together, give them a team again, you can really you know, get them to have that magic back. Nate, let's talk about this mixture of gridiron greats with After the Impact. They just built this huge center in Jacksonville where they're bringing together these military veterans, and they're bringing to NFL players, and they're talking about things that maybe other people don't want to talk about it. it makes people feel uncomfortable a little bit but they're bringing awareness to something that really matters just talk about that yeah I mean I think the number one thing uh, that, that that holds us all back just as human beings in general but especially all these athletes athletes and veterans whose careers essentially end at a young age is you know finding a purpose and like another mission you know that next uh, step in life that challenge could because who we have become as as veterans and athletes is someone that is willing to sacrifice so much to be great to be elite at something right and then when we when that's sort of taken away from us or it just ends uh, to find that next thing that that feeds that part of your soul is really difficult sometimes and and it's really it's staggering for Jay and I to see some of these guys that don't believe in themselves that have this mindset like you know I've done all these amazing things but now I, I've just I don't I don't have a place in the world and I feel like I feel lost and alone and it's 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 almost like they just need to be reminded you know what I mean and so organizations like after the impact like MVP like that's what we're that's all we're doing we're just reminding them you know that you are so worthy of, of all those things that you're getting but also um, you're capable of doing whatever the hell you want to do next yeah. and you're gonna be great at it if you apply the same type of uh, you know that that leadership that work ethic and that self-belief you had to have to be great at on the football field or in the battlefield, just apply that to the next stage in life. Jay, I'm going to leave you with this question. How do you think Nate's going to do in his speech tonight? Do you think he's going to deliver, or are you worried about your butt? No, he's going to completely tank it. Okay. I mean, just absolutely offend everybody in the room. No, no, that would be me if I was. <laughs> sorry, he's going to do just fine. It's, Nate's, Nate's, he's Captain America. I mean, it's just, you know, it's, I'm honored to have a guy who's, we, we, uh, live together, best friends, and uh, to be a partner. Okay. We bunk together um, to have him as a, uh, a partner in this. So, you know, walking this walk together, help out all these NFL players and combat veterans. It's pretty cool. And it's just to see, you know, from when we became friends a couple of years ago to now, uh, all the stuff, all the doors that have been really opened where we've been able to help a lot of people. It's been, it's, it's really been cool. Well, thank you to both of you, and especially congratulations to you. And uh, I don't think he's going to tank it. I think you'll do a great job. And if you need some assistance, I, I have a feeling Jay knows. I'm gonna Jay knows him right in the middle of the yeah, speech. Yeah, he knows how to speak for a living. So I mean, I, th I think he should be able to help you if I'm you need some help. Start out with you know totally belittling him, <laughs> and that'll just. Perfect. I can only go up from there. <laughs> I'm a little leg kick him about two minutes in. That's okay, it. Okay, perfect. It sounds like we might have a fight on our hands. Uh, but I'm Paige Demacos for Fan Reg Sports. Thanks, guys.